Hey everyone, welcome back to another Call of Duty Mobile video. Today, I'll be talking about the ASVAL and Fennec. A lot of people have been wondering what the current meta is in Call of Duty Mobile ever since the nerf to the QXR in Bison. And it became obvious that the most viable weapons right now for rank regardless of situation or game mode is the ASVAL and the Fennec. Although, keep in mind, there is no one-size-fits-all in any gunsmith when it comes to Call of Duty Mobile, but in this video, I'll try my best to explain to you how to effectively use these builds while you're ranking. And before I send you to the rest of the video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell down below so you get updated for my future uploads, which for now is once a week. AS Val is perfect for holding angles. Usually, this build uses the OWC laser tactical, but I wanted the flexibility of killing fast, close range using hipfire, that's why I run the MIP Laser 5MW. The main challenge for this build is being able to control the recoil or kick when spraying bullets to get a kill long range. So make sure not to spam the bullets and tap fire the weapon into short bursts so you can maximize the kills you can get per magazine. I'd say among all the guns I've tried, it's the most consistent in killing fast at close, mid, or long range. I noticed too that ASVAL flinch is pretty high compared to other assault rifles like the KN44 when you get hit by the enemy bullets or thermites. So to lessen the flinch and shake you'll experience, I highly recommend running toughness as your green perk to improve the aim stability when handling the weapon. Fennec is for the more aggressive player. This build is silenced because of the mono suppressor, has good base hipfire accuracy, and has good movement without sacrificing control because of the YKM light stock and the Ranger 4 grip. This gun is perfect for smaller maps like Summit, or maps with a lot of tight corners like Standoff where you can take advantage of slide peeking and taking enemies by surprise before picking them off. Just keep in mind that this weapon has a lot of vertical kick, so I'd recommend you aim at the belly or chest in case the gun kicks up a bit due to the recoil. And with my personal experience running this gun in ranked, you can get away with this build even without toughness in case you prefer running other green perks like quick fix or cold blooded. Nice, Nate. 